today is Saturday, February 27, 2021. We're out here exploring the Hook Canal area to Brennan and possibly to Squim later. We are here to explore this lake called Lena Lake. And this lake here, it's about 7.2 miles round trip with the elevation gain of 1300 feet. And this Lena Lake here is a pretty easy hike, but during this time of the year, there may be snow. So we're kind of prepared for that too, and see how the trail is gonna be at this time of the year. Best to hike there from April through September, uh, during the summer months. And there are a lot of people there, so we hopefully won't be a lot of people today. Lena Lake needs a Northwest Forest Pass, and you can get it uh, online or you can purchase at one of the retail stores. So right now we just passed Olympia and we're on Highway 101 North, going up to uh, Hook Canal. Along the way here on 101 North, there's uh, this town called Hamahama. In Hamahama, they have oyster farm there. I think they have the world best oyster farm. So if we have a chance, we may stop by there, get some oyster. If you like oyster, you should come to this town here and check it out. Yeah, Hood Sport, Hood Canal here is very beautiful. Uh, driving up 101 North here is very nice. Okay, all these forest trees. Here we are. Uh, the trail here for Lena Lake and we just starting out right now it's at 10 o'clock we start from home at uh, close to 8 we got here at 10 so that's about a two hours drive from Des Moines coming up on uh, 101 North we are now on the trail hiking this uh, Lena Lake Trail. This is a very popular trail. We already seen a lot of people. When we got to the parking lot, we almost didn't get a parking spot. It'd be nice if you come here early so that you can get a good parking spot. Otherwise, you may have a tough time finding parking and you may have to park a little bit further to walk to this place. This should be a easy hike. Elevation gain is about 1300. The trip is about three miles in and three miles out. Total of 7.2 miles. Should be about what three hours maybe? Three hours, three and a half hours round trip. For us that are going slow, we're starting out on this uh, little incline. Switch back here, but hopefully not for too long. It's a nice sunny day, 35, 36 degrees, still very cold. But once we go for a little bit, we should warm up and it should be good. Yeah, a lot of nice trees. If, if it's a very sunny day, you will be well protected from the trees. And this lake here, supposed to be a very beautiful lake. You can see the mountain, the lake is very clear when we first started it was cold but i could feel the temperature rising in my body This trail here is very well maintained. 
there's a lot of foot traffic coming through here. It's very clean. It could get muddy, but I don't think it will get that muddy. This truck here is very nice and clean. getting higher up in elevation because there are patches of snow here whoa there's snow here plenty of snow here come upon snow on the ground and I think from here on up we will be tracking on snow oh there's some mushroom here oh this turkey tail to it's tiny, huh? No, they're too Here's an update. We are maybe about less than a mile to go. It is not as bad. There's some snow other than that. It's very clear and it's dry with some dirt and gravel. So not too hard to track on. We should be there within Maybe half an hour. We're coming upon this big rock, kind of like a cave area. It's very cool. Patch of snow.
刚刚饿过Slippery, so be very careful walking through here. I should have invested in some plates and some walking stick. Yeah, if I'm gonna do this more often, I need to invest in some equipment. Upper Lina Lake, Upper and Lower Lina Lake. So Upper Lina Lake, campsite, the brothers. Yeah, once we see the sign up there, that means we're getting close. Almost the lake. I think we're approaching the lake. Here it is, Lena Lake. It is pleasantly beautiful to see the frozen lake and the surrounding mountains in the background. Here you can enjoy gazing at the lake and watching the birds fly to and fro. I have learned that these birds are called Grey Jay or Canadian Jay. found in the Borel Forest of North America, north of the tree line, and in the Rocky Mountain subalpine zone, south to New Mexico and Arizona. I am guessing that they are used to seeing people here and they are not afraid to grab food from your hands. Enjoy your day and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already done so.